God bless you. This is Pamela Menti here again. I'm here with the third part of the series, Make It Count, Secrets to Living Out Your Best. And the title for the, this third in the series is Rules to the Game of Life. Rules to the Game of Life. And this is just a short introductory video to the third part. Now, when, when you look at the title, you realize that there's an analogy that life is compared to a game you know, as a game that is played, all right? And when it comes to games, you know that there are rules that apply when you are playing a game, any kind of game at all. In the same way, when you are living your life, there are also rules, there are instructions that are given that need to be considered, that need to be obeyed if you are going to live your life. And as in games, when you do not obey, when you do not listen to instructions that are given or obey the rules you are disqualified all right and in the same way when you live your life lawlessly you will not gain the reward that you need to get so it's very important that you live your life in a lawful manner obeying the rules to the game of life now, um, we are going to read from 1 Corinthians 9.24, where Paul really puts this in a very great way, the way he puts the analogy describing life as a game. We are reading from 1 Corinthians 9.24, and it says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain... And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Paul writes the scripture with an athletic game in mind. And he says that those who run, they run all. Therefore, run to obtain. When you're running a race, you have it in mind. You want to win. That's why you are running. When you get involved in anything, you know, when you have a vision, you know your purpose and you have a vision, you are setting goals uh, toward that vision. You want to get to the end of it. You want to live that dream and realize that vision. That is the end result. Okay, therefore, when you run, of course, you have it in mind, you want to be successful, you want to live an optimal life, but then you have to also realize that there are rules that you need to, to, pay, your, to pay attention to. Now, those who run in a race, a regular race, they run for a corruptible crown. They run for something that is tangible, a tangible, whether it's money or whatever it is that they run for. It's something that is what? It's tangible. But we do not run for something that's tangible. We run for something that is much more than tangibility. It's much more and much deeper. When you are living your life as a Christian, you are living your life with uh, uh, having in mind that in the end you are going to appear before God therefore your eternal destination is in mind all right you know that God is looking at you at every decision and every choice that you make therefore you have that in mind therefore we don't run just for something tangible of course God rewards us on earth but ultimately our eternal destination is very important now, we, we need to live with an expectation that we will one day be accountable to God. We will one day sit or go before God's judgment seat, all right, and be accountable for whatever we did on earth, the choices and the decisions that we made. We will go before God to, be, uh, to explain, all right, we will be um we will have to go before God in order to explain, in order to reveal whatever we did on earth will be revealed to us. And you have to answer to everything that you did on earth. Therefore, we need to be able to, when, even as in this year, 2012, whatever resolutions that you have, whatever plans that you have, whether it's in ministry or it's in marriage, it's in family, your finances, whatever resolutions that you have, I just want to adjure you. I just want to encourage you that as you live your life, as you run your race toward the end of this year, realize that you need to live a lawful life. 
life. Now, when I say that, I mean that you need to make sure that you stay away from sin. You need to detest sin. All right. Make sure that you are living a holy life before God and before men, even as a Christian. You need to st also stick with the plan and the purpose that God has given to you. In games, in regular games, you are assigned your own lane. You are given a number, babe, that identifies you and you are assigned your own lane. And one way to be disqualified even from the races is to you know to run in somebody else's lane you will be disqualified for that you will be disqualified for abusing substance if you use steroids you will be disqualified in a race all right so there these are the few things that i want you to be mind that to have in mind that as you run as you live your life to fulfill your purpose and accomplish those great vision and goals make sure that you stay in line to the instructions that god has given you god has given you a specific instruction according to your purpose according to your vision according to your aim and your goals and everything make sure that you stick with those instructions that God has given to you. All right, and remember that your obedience will be rewarded. Your disobedience will bring you consequences. Therefore, you need to stay in line according to what God has called you to. He is there, he will lead you and he will guide you. Whatever help that you need, his Holy Spirit is there to empower you to reach the points where he wants you to do to be able to accomplish to finish the race and to accomplish the purpose that he has given to you therefore keep this in mind if you want to hear more of this topic just uh, look forward to the launching of make it count secrets to living your best all right it will be launched at the end of january therefore look forward to the publicity you will all be invited to be a part of this webinar. God bless you and I will see you soon.